All right, the U.S. is facing off with China over illegal fishing. Tonight in an NBC News exclusive, Keir Simmons takes us along with the U.S. Coast Guard as it patrols off the coast of Peru. Tonight, closer to the U.S. coast than to China, a contest between superpowers on the high seas. Monitoring this massive Chinese fishing fleet looming off South America has become the U.S. Coast Guard's urgent focus. NBC News was invited to board the USCGC Alder, its 50-strong crew, on a new mission. There's nothing wrong with fishing. It's just you got to do it in a way that's responsible. They're part of a multinational law-enforcing effort aimed at curbing overfishing. It's a matter of national security. Around 40% of the world gets at least some of their protein from fish. So that's why there's a sense of urgency here. China's huge fishing industry, with Chinese government subsidies, dominates the South Pacific Ocean, over 10,000 miles from home, fishing for giant squid. We take a flight with the Peruvian Navy, 200 miles off their coast. We're crossing into international waters right now. To find a flotilla of Chinese squid jiggers just outside Peruvian territorial waters, relentlessly pursuing the squid. We've been flying for about 20 minutes at 2,000 feet, just above the ocean, and we've already seen 10, maybe more, Chinese fishing vessels. According to a report by Oceana, a Washington-based ocean conservation group first seen by NBC News, China's colossal distance water fleet is monopolizing the world's oceans. Some vessels allegedly turning off their tracking devices at times and fueling unregulated fishing practices in conservation and protected areas such as the Galapagos, as identified by NOAA. They are globally seen as one of if not one of the worst actors when it comes to legal, unreported and unregulated fishing. The report detailing hundreds of so-called factory ships carrying the huge hauls of squid home to China so smaller ships can keep fishing. They fish for about 134,000 hours, which is an astronomical amount. Still, she says, because the U.S. imported more than $686 million of seafood over the past five years, including from China, Congress has been able to apply pressure on Beijing by threatening to stop imports without improved fishing practices. Squid like this may end up on your dinner table in the U.S. We want to make sure that the squid that we are eating aren't the process or aren't a part of illegal fishing. The Chinese embassy in Washington responding, telling us they should not be made responsible for the actions of a small number of vessels. Tonight, the US and China sharing the Pacific with many other nations while battling over its resources. Keir Simmons, NBC News, Peru. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.